This video is about the conceptual design of an axial, single-stage turbine as a component for a cryogenic rocket turbopump. Previously, we had explained how to design a centrifugal pump, including inducer, impeller, diffuser, and volute, as shown on the left side. In this video, we will demonstrate the design of a single-stage axial turbine, which drives the rocket pump. To ensure a correct energy transmission, the shaft power and the rotational speed of both components must match. At first, you create a new project choosing the turbine design module and insert the design point of the turbine. The design point, or duty point, is defined by mass flow rate, total pressure ratio, and rotational speed. In our example, the fluid is liquid oxygen. In CF Turbo, the cool prop database can be used to specify gases, liquids, or mixtures, but it is possible to define any other fluid properties manually if required. Finally, we have to set the boundary conditions for the turbine, the inlet temperature, and the total inlet pressure. And there is an option to specify the rotational direction of the turbine rotor. On the right side, you will see some essential physical values. In this example, we will design a single stage turbine made of a rotor and a nozzle. We start to design the rotor and running sequentially through all different design steps. The user can choose between manual dimensioning or a supported design mode. Shrouded or unshrouded impellers can be created. For an unshrouded turbine rotor like in this example, the blade tip clearance must be defined. Multi-stage machines can be made if required. CF Turbo is driven by fundamental physical equations and numerous empirical correlations. These approximation functions are taken from textbooks, research papers, and our own data. With this, our code will be able to provide reasonable and detailed 3D models. Here we see design parameters to calculate the main dimensions of the rotor. A total to static efficiency correlation is shown. All empirical correlations available in CF Turbo can be edited manually by the user. The proposed main dimension can be adjusted as well. On the right side of the window, you can see important physical values of the rotor, a meridional contour, the Cordier diagram, and initial velocity triangles. In the meridional view, we adjust the axial length of the rotor and we are defining the position and the shape of leading and trailing edges. In this example, we use simple shapes for the leading and trailing edges and the meridional contour of the rotor. It will be straight lines with a constant Z value both for leading and trailing edges. It is suggested to add a thickness of the hub solid to create a true geometrical solid later for export reasons. As shown, all Bezier points can be modified numerically by changing numbers in the pop-up window. In general, CF Turbo is very flexible in creating complex shapes for hub and tip contours, as well as leakages, labyrinths, and secondary flow paths if required. This capability of our software enables the direct geometry export from CF Turbo to meshing tools without another third-party 3D CAD system. Next, we are designing the blade properties. In this window, at first, we define the number of blades as well as the number of spans. Then we select the blade shape for the turbine blades, and we define the blade thickness on leading and on trailing edges. The blade thickness should be set manually by the user. The user should estimate a slip factor for the rotor by angle or velocity ratio. According to CF Turbo's definition for turbines, a negative value should be applied. Using these parameters, blade angles on leading and trailing edges will be computed on every span. An incidence angle can be defined, which will influence the blade angles on the leading edge of the rotor. 
Then a method must be selected to calculate the radial equilibrium from hub to a shroud. The meridional and circumferential velocity components can be adjusted to balance pressure and centrifugal forces. In many cases, it is useful to choose the variable load option that enables you to shift the blade loading from hub to shroud. Finally, CF Turbo calculates the blade angles on leading and trailing edge on every span of the rotor blade. On the right side of the window, there is a graphical representation of the velocity triangles, and we get additional detailed information about all velocity components, beta distribution, and slip factor. In mainline design, we determine the curvature of the blade between leading and trailing edges on every span. The wrap angle of the blade can be adjusted graphically or numerically. There are several diagrams to evaluate geometrical and physical properties, like relative velocity, blade loading, or static pressure. In CF Turbo, the user can choose between various methods of blade design. Currently, we offer conformal mapping, direct modification of the beta distribution, as well as inverse design method that is based on blade loading distribution. In the final two design steps for the turbine rotor, we make the blade profiling or blade thickness distribution, and we round up the leading and the trailing edges. There are three major design modes, linear interpolation, freeform, or loading an existing blade profile from the profile database. The spanwise profile distribution between hub and shroud can be handled flexible, or the user may set identic profiles on hub and shroud. Additionally, it is possible to make asymmetric leading and trailing edges. On the right side of the window, there are diagrams to evaluate blade passage area, absolute and relative velocity, Mach numbers, blade loading, swirl and static pressure, among others. Switching to our 3D model view, we can see the hub and blades of the turbine rotor as three-dimensional CAD geometry. At this point, we are ready to create the second component, which is a nozzle, a veined stator, upstream of the rotor. A veined component that is located upstream of the turbine rotor creates the swirl, or rotational kinetic energy, that is needed to drive the rotor. Before we continue, we save the file. Now we select the position and the type of component we want to add. Different stator shapes are available in CF Turbo, for example, freeform, axial, bowl, or 90 degree bend. Here we select the axial type. For the stator, at first, we must define its axial extension. This will be done by adjusting the overall nozzle length or the position of hub and tip contour at the inlet of the nozzle. The length of the nozzle will be an input number. So far, there are no empirical data available for this parameter. On the right side of the window, we see a schematic sketch of the meridional contour. However, we also could display important physical and geometrical values of the nozzle. The meridional design of the stator is very similar to the axial rotor design. At first, we are defining the position and the shape of leading and trailing edges. Again, we use simple shapes for the leading and trailing edges and the meridional contour of the rotor. It will be straight lines with a constant Z value both for leading and trailing edges. As done before with the rotor, we add a thickness on hub and shroud to create a true geometrical solid later for export reasons. All Bezier points can be modified numerically by changing numbers in the pop-up window. CF Turbo would be very flexible creating complex shapes for hub and shroud contours, as well as leakages, labyrinths, and secondary flow path if required. Now we can calculate the velocity triangles in the blade properties design window. In this window, we define the number of blades as well as the blade shape, the blade thickness on leading and on trailing edges. Here we have chosen 19 stator blades, and the blade shape will remain on Freeform 3D as recommended for such type of impellers. Other blade shapes like ruled surface, radial elements, or Freeform 2D would be available too. The nozzle blade angles on leading and trailing edges can be set manually by the user on every span, or the trailing edge blade angle can be computed based on inlet data of the rotor. 
For this, use the button Set Alpha TE. On the right side of the window, we have a graphical and numerical representation of the velocity triangles and the slip factor correlation diagram, among others. In the next design step, we do the mean line design, which determines the curvature of the blade between leading and trailing edges on every span. The wrap angle of the blade can be adjusted graphically or numerically. On the right side of the window, we have several diagrams to evaluate geometrical and physical properties. You can see plots for relative and absolute velocity, pressure, swirl, and blade loading, among others. These calculations are based on Stanitz pre n methodology. Here you see diagrams for the pressure-based blade loading and the static pressure in blade-to-blade -blade view. The user can choose between several different design modes for mean line design, like conformal mapping, blade angle progression, or blade loading definition. To finalize the 3D geometry of the nozzle, we have to make the blade profiling and to shape the leading and trailing edges. For the blade profiles, we use a freeform thickness distribution on identic profiles at Hub and Shroud. Leading and trailing edges were given an elliptic shape in our example, whereas the axis ratio of the trailing edge has been adjusted manually. Now we can see both components, the nozzle and the turbine rotor, in our 3D viewer. To finish the computational model, we add an additional flow domain upstream and downstream of the turbine stage. For this purpose, we add an axial stator on each side. The non-rotating component should be given a certain length to avoid a negative impact on the boundary conditions to the turbine stage flow itself. It has to mainly be done for numerical reasons. In this case, we added a 25mm pipe before the inlet of the nozzle and a 75mm pipe downstream of the rotor. Since the 3D viewer of CF Turbo runs on a 3D CAD kernel, there are a large variety of display options and numerous functions to create, to show, and to check the geometry models. This fundamental functionality is beneficial later when it comes to CAD export and batch mode runs. On the left side of the window, there is a model tree showing components and subcomponents which allow easy navigation, renaming, as well as adjusting color and translucency. On the right side, we can see a window for information, warnings, or error messages. It is linked directly to the online help manual of CF Turbo. The CF Turbo model finishing enables the user to create and to export high-quality CAD solid models for export. During the model finishing process, one has the possibility to specify fillets on hub and shroud if applicable. For this model, we have to build fillets on hub and shroud of the nozzle and on the hub side of the rotor. Compared to other conceptual turbo machinery design tools, CF Turbo allows a very detailed geometry representation of all significant components. This is an advantage for direct export to CFD or FEA codes without applying another 3D CAD system to prepare the computational domain. It is one of the preconditions for automated design exploration and simulation. Now the model is prepared for a 3D CFD simulation. CF Turbo has export formats to all major CFD codes and CAD systems and neutral formats like STEP, STL, or Parasolid. For this turbine example, we export the format to CF Turbo SMP, also known as Sumerix MP. As shown here, there is a possibility to select settings for meshing and simulation. We have chosen mesh settings, which will create a mesh of about 3 million nodes. Mesh size can be adjusted and refined. It will become a hexahedral binary tree mesh. In the solver settings window, we can choose between transient or steady state simulation. For our demo, we use steady. 
The typical number of iterations should be 500 to reach convergence. Additionally, we have the option to select a higher order differencing scheme. Export and meshing take about 10 minutes on a notebook with an Intel i7 processor. We always recommend running 3D CFD simulations to evaluate geometry models designed in CF Turbo. According to our experience, simplified methods like potential flow calculations, through flow simulations, or loss model based performance curve estimations will not be sufficient for reliable feedback. This rocket turbine example has been exported to Sumerix MP for a CFD simulation. Sumerix MP is a modern, robust, fast, accurate, and cost effective general purpose 3D Navier Stokes code. CFD simulations with Sumerix MP provide realistic results that compare accurately with multiple field tests. We import the results file of a steady simulation using a multiple reference frame approach. This steady state simulation example on a 3 million nodes mesh took 24 minutes on a laptop with an Intel i7 processor. A fully transient simulation with four revolutions would take about 90 minutes to converge for the same model on the same computer. Transient flow simulations usually provide higher accuracy compared to steady state results, especially for off-design operating points. Besides residuals, we can monitor physical properties and integral values like pressure ratio, efficiency, shaft power, torque, and volume flow rate, among others. As you can see, the simulation results meeting the design goal in terms of the specified total pressure ratio, 1.2, and the desired shaft power, 1200 kilowatts. The total to total efficiency values calculate as follows, 86% for the rotor and 75% for the full stage. Excellent numbers for the first initial design. As shown in this image, CF Turbo has interfaces with numerous CFD codes. All interfaces are under continuous improvement. The list will be extended if new codes or meshing tools enter the market. In recent years, it has become more and more affordable to combine turbo machinery design software and CFD codes with optimization algorithms. Here we see an example with CF Turbo, ANSYS OptiSlang, and Sumerix MP. CF Turbo can easily be adapted to various codes. It is essential to create robust, automated workflows that allow user-friendly access for experts and beginners. For CF Turbo, there is a bi-directional integration into ANSYS Workbench available. ANSYS is, by far, the most widely used software for turbo machinery CFD simulation, design exploration, and optimization. As an alternative, CF Turbo works excellent with Star CCM Plus and HEADS, both products of Siemens PLM. This example shows an automated pump impeller optimization. There is general flexibility to run CF Turbo in combination with any CFD or FEA solver and optimization software. To get a free trial today, visit our website at cfturbo.com.